Hi, my name is Mohadar Ahmedov. Welcome to the course of Probability and Statistics. In this video, we're going to solve a couple of problems on combinatorial analysis. The first problem states in the following way. In how many ways uh, we can rearrange six girls and two boys in one room so that two boys sit together always? This problem is so cool so that it reveals the applications of the two most important rules of the combinatorial analysis. The first rule states, uh, the first rule is called the counting rule or general counting rule, which basically states that if one event can happen in k different ways, if the another one can happen p different ways, together they can happen k times p different ways. And the second rule which we're going to use in this example is called the permutation rule permutation rule. It basically states that if you have n different objects, the number of the permutations of this n different objects is going to be equal to the n factorials. Before we solve our problem, I would like to give you a small examples on these two important rules. So let's start with the permutation rule. For example, you've got uh, two boys, boy one and boy two, right? So you have two distinct objects and the number of the rearrangements by the rule is equal to the two factorials, which is equal to the two. And indeed, it is two because this is the first rearrangement, and the second one is b2 and b1. So if you would have three boys, then you would have three factorial uh, cases of the rearrangements of the three boys. And I would like to give you a small example for the counting rule as well. So let's say you've got two girls, girl one and girl two, and boy one and boy two which basically tells you that, hey, uh, in how many different ways you can rearrange, uh, the, 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 rearrange uh, the, this, um, this row, right? So we know that we can rearrange these two girls in two factorial ways, the two ways, and we know that we can rearrange these two boys also in two different ways. So altogether, there are four different cases where, where, where we don't change the boxes, right? So let's say they are in the boxes. We are just rearranging the girls together and boys together. But altogether, if you look to this four in one row, there are four different cases, four different cases. So if one event can happen in two different ways, and if the second one can happen in the two different ways, together they can happen two times two, four different cases. So I'm going to give you a like, I would like to explain you what does it mean by four different cases. So this is the first case and the second case is going to be girl one, girl two, where I would like to change the places was the boys. So boy two, boy one. This is the second case. The third case is going to be, I'm going to change the place of the girls, girl, girl two, girl one, boy one, boy two, it's going to be the third case. And the fourth case is going to be girl 2, girl 1, boy 2, boy 1, right? So four different cases. These two important rules play a crucial role in, in the combinatorial analysis. So now, in order to solve our problem, we are going to first of all make the boxes. So blocks, I would say, right? So the block of the two boys. So two boys are going to be in the block so because they are always together. Boy 1 and boy two. Now I would like I would like to put the girls here in one row, girl two, girl three, girl four, girl five, girl six. If we just fix this rearrangement, basically the boys, two boys are to, uh, are coming together in the beginning, then six boys are coming after that, and how many different arrangements are possible? In this case we need to use the permutation rule first of all. So the how many different permutations are Two boys, it is two factorials, right? Or simply two. And in how many different ways we can rearrange the six girls? Like, we are just changing the place uh, positions of the girls. There are six factorial cases according to the permutation rule. So if it would just fix this position, basically the boys are coming first, then the girls are coming, the number of the rearrangements would be simply two factorials times six factorials. So the six factorials is actually equal to the 720, and if we just multiply this to the two factorials, which is two, it's going to be uh, 1440 cases. The problem is the block with the boys can can be in the different positions. So basically, uh, th there is another example. So let's say girl 1 here, girl 2, girl 3, girl 4, girl 5, 
go six. So this box with the boys can be here. This is one possibility, right? And it's also might be here. So if if we just put the box with the boys to here and we arrange everything, we are going to have again 1440 cases. So this box with the boys can be here or even here, 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 or here. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different cases of replacing this box with the two boys. So that is why for each of them, we are going to have 1,440 cases, right? So altogether, it's going to be seven times 1,440 different cases. So it's going to be 10,000 80 different cases. So if you have six girls and two boys, the number of the rearrangements where these two boys are always together is going to be simply equal to the 10,080. So I'm going to make this problem a little bit different. So let's make this example two. So let's say you have six girls and two boys. So how many different rearrangements are possible? So in this case, you don't need the information that you have six girls or two boys, right? It's because you can just place them as you wish. So what you need to do is you need to look to this problem from the person's perspective. So you have eight persons, person one, person two, person three, and so on, person eight. In this case, you don't need the gender of your persons because uh, there are no constraints such as like two boys should be together. Right? So how many rearrangements are possible with the eight different objects? So if you have eight different objects, the number of the rearrangements is going to be equal to the eight factorials. So the eight factorials is going to be equal to uh, forty thousand three hundred twenty. Good. And now we are going to solve the third problem. Example number three. The third example tells us that, hey, you have six girls together and two boys, uh, si not together, six girls and two boys. And the constraint is like find the number of, re of rearrangements. Rearrangements. Sorry. So that two boys are not together. So in order to solve this problem, I just would like to use the uh, answers which we have from the two previous ones. So please note that if, um, so you have six girls, girl one, girl two, girl three, girl four, five, and six. And you have two boys, boy one, and boy two. So the number of the cases where you don't care uh, whether the boys are together or not together in total, right? So in total is 40,320. Right? And also we know that the number of the cases when the two boys are together out of this is going to be equal to the 10,080. So could you guess what is the number of the cases when they are not together? It's obviously going to be just the subtraction of 40,320 minus 10,080. So minus 10,080. It's going to be 30,240. So this number of the cases is going to be 30,240. So the number of the cases where these two boys are not together is equal to the 30,240. Because there are only two possibilities, right? Either these two boys are always together, either these two boys are not together, right? In total, both of these cases are going to make you all the cases, which is like 40,320. So sometimes you need to just use like the information. Um, uh, so sometimes solving the, this kind of problems when like two boys are not together is easier by finding the number of the cases when they are together and subtracting this from the total number of the cases. So this problem is revealing this two 
important role of the counting, of the of the combinatorial analysis, uh, basically the counting role and the permutations role.